and welcome to Just So Susie. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I organize and decorate my custom bookcases. These are IKEA bookcases, but my dad built them into our walls. I'm going to be getting into that a little bit later in the video about what bookcases they actually are and how he did this. But first, I'm going to tell you we use this room for mainly homeschooling my five year old who's in kindergarten and for the kids to just play in. So it's pretty bare right now. We're going to be decorating it more and more as we go. But the first project was to put everything in these bookcases and get it organized. So I'm going to be changing out this hardware. I'm going to be putting books in here, decorating it. I'm going to be sharing with you guys where I got everything. I stopped in at Kirkland's and Target for their January 2021 new stuff. And I was really impressed with some of the things they came out, especially it being right after the holidays. I've been loving some of the colors I'm seeing and even these textures as well. So I'll share with you guys everything from Kirkland's and then Target. About to leave already packing come with me i'm not really asking we'll get away to a place where we don't know about to see the world in action what we can be live with no distractions we'll get away this is what we I have been eyeing this mirror for my master bedroom. It is online, it's fairly new to Kirkland's. It's like the perfect beachy coastal mirror to have in a bedroom or even an entryway. And I just love it so much, but I don't need it, I just want it. I wanna put a pin in these lamps and we'll come back to lamps, but I wanted to show you what they had because they are a good selection and they were $19.99. I loved Kirkland's pillows. I love getting ideas from Kirkland's pillows because I try to buy covers, not actual pillows to save on space and money, but I loved the neutrals, the blues, and even the sage color we're seeing. Then I went over to Target and I saw these lamps and I was like, oh my goodness, I love these lamps. They are these like pottery-like lamps that are very trendy right now. I ended up getting that one because my house is a more beach coastal vibe. Um, I thought that these were really good quality for 20 bucks. Definitely something you would see at Crate and Barrel or Pottery Barn, but for 20 bucks, I could definitely picture that on a smaller nightstand. And then these little guys would be perfect for a council table, an entry table, even maybe in the corner of a kitchen counter. They had so many florals and baskets and greenery. I'm just gonna let you guys take a look at what I found. So when I envisioned my bookcases, eventually we're gonna have more and more books on them, but I wanted them to look very neat and clean, but with a little pop of color. My house used to be very farmhouse, but now I'm switching it to more coastal. I picked up this plant. It was the terracotta clay that sold me on it, and it was only $3. I don't intend on burning this candle, just specifically using it for the color. And then I loved that plant as well because of the bottom, and I loved that blue that I'm gonna bring into the room as well. I have to organize these books. Some of those are pre-K books and my son is now in kindergarten, so I have to organize those. These are his new school supplies I bought him for the new year. He goes through things so fast. Um, those crayons are from Target, but everything else is pretty much from the Dollar Tree. Even these bins are from the Dollar Tree. They had them in gray, so I'm keeping things very neutral. So I will show you guys how I organize everything for my son's homeschool.
I love sharing with moms things that help me immensely and that would be these 10 blocks that I got off of um, Amazon for $21.99 for Johnny who is five. Again, um, he's basically just starting math. He did a little bit in the fall but now we're getting more into it and these blocks have really been helping him such a good investment because I feel like they're going to help them in years to come as well. And then I don't organize my kids crayons into color coded. I know that's totally a thing, but my kids are way too young. I have a two year old and a almost one year old and the one year old obviously doesn't use them, but the two year old would just dump them out anyway. So this is my more of my resource cabinet. It has John's supplies in here. It has stickers. It has my teacher's binder in there that's like five inches thick. Um, I could seriously like knock somebody out with that thing, but it has a map, some resource DVDs, um, and anything that's going to help John learn visually. So I'm stacking the books that don't um, stand up on their own, but I wanted to share with you guys some of these books that he uses. My um, curriculum has some of the Usborne publishing books in them. And then funny enough, my friend sells Usborne as well. And I ended up getting a few from her too because some of these pictures are just so beautiful. I love the illustrations in these books. I love teaching Johnny that while he's reading, he doesn't always have to read every single word. He can open a book and play I Spy. He can even play I Spy with our two-year-old. He can look at it and sometimes I say, what do you see in this? What do you think this book is about? And that really helps him just enjoy reading more. Next to this room is a little closet that I keep his science stuff and our craft stuff in. I mainly organize it with this bin I found at Target, but I have little hands in my house that I don't need getting into the science stuff, markers, Play-Doh, and crafts. So I keep this in a separate closet so that um, they stay safe. All right, so to make our bookcases look more custom, we started by um, doing a shiplap wall. These are actually just two by four pieces that we painted um, in bare paint. It's called Painter's White, I believe, and it's very durable paint, and I loved it because it wasn't a super white next to the cabinet. Plus, bare paint is very durable, um, especially since this is gonna be a reading nook for my kids. I'm sure they're gonna have their hands and feet all over it. But um, I love these cabinets first. I picked them out because of the look and because they're soft clothes. There's a bunch of different combinations by the half style. They have sliding glass. They have, you could do three bookcases in a row depending on the space you have. But one of the ways I made it look more custom was change out the hardware. I picked out a crown molding that we um, nailed to the top. We um, kept this little space on the side of the cabinet. You see that special trim on the side. That is from Lowe's. And one of the ways we made it look really grand was we raised it 12 inches from the ground. If you want to copy this exact look, I'm going to be sharing more in detail what I did over on my website that is launching next week, www.justasuzy.com. Thank you so much for watching today and being a part of my channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Take care, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!